Hey folks, the internet dude here. Hey, I got the uh, eagle washed up today. You probably noticed a few changes if you saw my previous videos, but uh, I added the American Motors front license plate. Uh, I removed the left front bumper end cap because it wasn't sitting quite right. And the one on the parts car, which is right here, uh, will go on there and I think that'll look good. So, uh, just been tinkering on this thing. I replaced the valve cover gasket because it was leaking badly and did a few other things. But uh, I had this crazy idea and I thought, well, I'll, I'll share it with you. But uh, here, here's what it is. So you know how the uh, wood grain is, it was a very appealing feature to me on this car. And uh, I did a video a year ago or so, I think it was, and I showed how I applied some 303 aerospace protectant to help preserve the decal because the decal is original. Uh, it actually has some patina now, if you want to call it that. There's some areas chipping away. And so I was thinking like, what's the best way to protect this? Because the 303 didn't work as well as I had thought. Maybe I needed to apply it more often. I don't know. Uh, so I had this crazy thought and that is, why not clear coat the decal? It's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's even going to work. But I was thinking, well, if you clear coat it, it's going to protect it from UV rays and it shouldn't break down any further. I really noticed a lot of deterioration last summer. This car was parked outside. And uh, so, I don't know, I don't, I don't like all that degradation of the delaminating, whatever you want to call this, of that uh, decal. So rather than replacing it because it's uh, original to the car and, you know, I'm not restoring the rest of the car. I just want it protected. So I talked to a friend of mine that has a body shop and I uh, said, what do you think of that? And he's like, well, you know, we haven't done that and we could try it because it would protect the UV rays, the sun rays. Anyway, so what I did is I took the parts eagle here and I took in the door and I said, uh, why don't you do a test here? So what they did is they left the center area just like factory decal. They painted, uh, well, I guess painted isn't the right word, but from here over to the edge of the door, this is a matte clear coat. And then to the right here, this is a gloss clear coat. Probably can't see it super well, but uh, this one, it, it protects the decal, really, but uh, it doesn't really bring out um, the wood grain features so much. It, it's you know, it just is what it is. And we move back here, and I think you can see that there's kind of a reflectivity, and it just brings out the depth because it makes that panel look wet, right? So, uh, this was actually done, oh, months ago. And so I did a little test myself. I took a key or a screwdriver or something here, and I was scratching away at it just to see, like, how well would this hold up. So, it actually worked out good that. I had a period of time where this was done uh, and so I had a chance to see what's going to happen. And this car always sits out in the sun. So it's a really crazy idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, I'll take it into the body shop and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. And it's done. Check it out. That is some glossy protected wood grain. I like it. Look at that. The uh, clear coat actually helped darken up some of these patches in here. Because if you look where it was peeling off, that area is actually darker. So I think it actually blends in a bit better. But look at that. That looks nice. So what do you think? Was this the craziest idea ever? Or was it kind of clever? I'm not even sure yet, but there we go. Looking sharp. I got what I wanted. I wanted some protection on that. I still wanted to keep it original, kind of showing that patina. I'm liking it. Feels rough, you know, when you go over it because, you know, it is rough underneath, but I like it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Was that crazy or not and uh, definitely welcome all your feedback 
good or bad on the car and the project. I know I've had a few good comments on the other previous AMC Eagle videos just about the project and restoring it. May as well show you this side too. Just ultra shiny. And as long as it protects it and lasts, that's what I'm going for. Preservation. So I hope you like this video. It's just kind of a quick one, but I wanted to get something out just to kind of show you the progress on the Eagle. And uh, if you liked it and you like the car and you like the project so far, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching.